back to my channel. Of course, welcome back to Dr. OJ Speaks. I know you guys have thoroughly enjoyed September because of the feedback we've gotten on all the relationship episodes we've brought you in the month of September. So as we round up this month of September, the last episode is going to be about women. Yeah, my girls, you know you guys, I got you. So today's episode, I'm going to be chatting with one of my girlfriends and she's going to be telling us or we're going to be talking about what we really would like men to know. You know, we really feel some type of way a lot of times in relationships where we feel like we're not understood or we're not being heard and we just feel like we sort of have to train these men. And I found out from the men, you guys watched the episode, What Men Want Women To Know. I know you guys told me you don't want to be trained, you don't need to be trained, you actually do know what to do. So, bros, why are you not doing it now? But today, it's our turn. For the women to tell you what we would really love for you to know about us when it comes to all things. I mean, no, no, there's no, today's episode is really going to be amazing because we're going to talk about everything, every, every. All right, so before I introduce my guests, don't forget if this is your first time here, welcome. Oh my God, I'm so excited that you're joining me today. Don't forget before you leave to subscribe, turn your notification on, and of course, share this video. Leave us a comment like it do all the needful come on it ain't gonna hurt you the only thing it's gonna do is make this channel grow and don't you want us to share all of this amazing content with so many more people so make sure you do that all right today's episode is sponsored by hd pro global beauty institute they want you to know that if you are interested in becoming an independent med spa operator becoming a part of a $500 billion industry and growing, definitely want to go to hdproglobal.com to register for one of their courses, get trained, get certified, or get into their franchise program and own your fully operational medical spa. The best part about it is they also provide funding. So you're definitely going to be able to learn about that once you get into their website. All right, I will be right back with you, and I will be bringing my guest on the show, and her name is Anna, Anna Banana, and that's all I'm going to say, and you're going to hear from her soon. See you guys soon. Be right back. And I'm, I'm still a work in progress. And Did you say single and with God? And with God. 
Okay, you're with God, but you're open to me. Because wait, wait, wait. So no, no, sisters, <laughs> sisters, sisters. So let me tell you something. I went and broke my bracelet, but it's okay. That's to show you how passionate I'm about. So wait, wait, wait. So when women say I'm with God, well, what, what does that even mean? I'll tell you what that means. Okay. And it's a deep meaning because when you're with God, you're you're finding out your purpose. Okay. You are finding out how to overcome adversity as a, as a woman and learning the ways of life. And um, so when you say, when I'm saying I'm single with God, that means I'm in a, I'm in a sacred place right okay. now. Okay. I'm in my singleness, but I'm enjoying my singleness. I love it. I love and it. And that's exactly what I mean by that. Good. But you see, many of some nice guy pull up and say, hey, sis. What's uh, up, sis? It depends on the quality of the man. Woo! And Dr. O told me when you called me on the phone the other yes. day, and you said it's not about the quantity. No, ma'am. But it's about the quality. quality. So ah. if, if they may pull up, but they, that does not mean something that my mom always taught me. If a man likes you, that don't mean that you have to like him back. True. Because you have to have the quality of a man that you're seeking and not the quantity. Good. I'm glad. Wait, I'm a mother and um, I'm a single mother of a beautiful daughter. Uh, I call her my Caribbean girl because she's my beautiful. If she looks anything like you, girl, if she got any of your features, gosh, that girl is she, less, <laughs> less than highly favored. Thank yes. Thank you. Um, she looks like me. People say she looks like me, but I think she looks more like her dad. Like her dad. Yeah, yeah but it depends. I mean, we all see it differently. The attitude, like me. All you. Yes. <laughs> but professionally, what I do is I am a tech recruiter, so I work in the tech industry. Oh, nice. Uh, so if you guys know anyone. Women in tech. Okay, women you in go, tech. You go, girl. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So anyone in the tech industry is a major industry to, to work in. Um, and you also get to meet beautiful people all the time, like including Dr. OJ. Ah! Yeah, she, she she's amazing. She said me is beautiful people. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> beautiful people. And also, um, I invest in real estate. So there's another touchy conversation we can also uh -huh. talk about on a later uh, schedule, but that's primarily about myself. And you can also reach me. Uh, my Instagram is so gracious Anna, and learn more. Okay, see. So y'all know that on my show, I only roll with high flyers. Like I told y'all on one episode, I'm like, I ain't no chicken, okay? I only fly with eagles because we be soaring up in the skies. Amen. So, Anna Banana, you are here today. Let's stop breaking it down. So, I know we opened up the conversation and you said you are here, single, loving it with God, and that is amazing. And it's critically important for women to understand that. You know, in your state of being single, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Like, you don't have, like, the plague or the coronavirus or something like, it's like, oh, you're single, oh, my God, you're too pretty to be single. I know, but it's okay. What do you feel about that? I feel like um, when you are single, you're going to be uncomfortable because as your purpose as a woman or as a man, you know, we have a purpose to be able to multiply. Yes. And um, when you're single, I mean, people tend to multiply, but they multiply in different ways mm -hmm. where they shouldn't. And a lot of times you have to be able to multiply yourself financially, mentally, mm -hmm. and honestly, just know your purpose uh, while you're single. And um, definitely find yourself with good people around you. Multiply your, your network. Yes. You know, uh, <clears throat> multiply your network your network, like uh, definitely network with people around you. And um, also just just multiply the people that are good around you, that makes you feel like, oh, I'm God. not single, Anna, I'm just having fun. Do I love her or do <laughs> I just love her? Because the reality of the matter is the conversation is deep, y'all, and you have to be like I was listening to a message this morning, and the pastor said, in order for you to go into the deep, you have to already have depth within you. True. So in order for you to resonate with this conversation right here, yeah. you got to have a lot of depth in you. So I understand for some of you are going to be like, Tina, what are they talking about? What's all that? Look, you ain't got depth in you. But for you sisters, 
for you brothers who got a lot of death in you, this is the real right here. Because when you're single and the Bible says be fruitful or multiply, the world has taken that to a whole nother level. Yeah. We multiply in all kinds of mess. We being fruitful in all kinds of nonsense. We having multiple babies. And I'm not saying having kids is a bad thing. And I'm not saying doing certain things is a bad thing. But understanding your purpose would allow you to understand your ability to be fruitful and to multiply in the right season. Right now, I'm all about my change, guys. I want to multiply my money. In the bag. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to get my bag. And then a friend of mine told me yesterday, and he was saying, look, Dr. O, I know sometimes it gets to you because it gets to me too, and you can be real with me. Does it ever bother you when you're like, I'm single, everyone around me needs to be booed and bait and bowed up, and what's the other acronym they got these days? And you're like, am I missing out on something? And when am I going to find that person who's going to be my person? Uh, it does bother me um, sometimes, but then I snap out of it and I'm like, okay, um, is this really, is a relationship really what you're seeking? Because you can just seek any relationship. Exactly. But are you seeking your, your is your helpmate seeking you? Mm. And are you seeking, and I'm, a helpmate is for the men out here. Um, Tell them, <laughs> yeah. we ain't the only yeah. helpers, you yeah. gotta come help yeah. us too. Yeah. yeah, and is your soulmate, which is your, for the women, is your soulmate, the person who you are solely put together, mm -hmm. is he the right one? Thank and you. it's not just about any relationship because secretly I have a, secretly we all have a purpose inside yes. of us that we have to literally just draw out. And when we're, we're seeking our purpose and the plan that we have in our life, then we'll, we'll just realize that, hey, not everybody is for me. No, and you should not be for everybody because like I said, I tell people, I said, you gotta see yourself as a luxury brand. Exactly. And it doesn't matter, and people assume, oh, I'm a luxury brand because right. I wear Gucci. You could wear Gucci, Versace, Prada, and still be ratchet as you know what. And that's the truth. You're not a luxury brand because of what you put on yourself. You're a luxury brand because of who you are on the inside and who you are becoming. So you don't attain the level of luxury when you get those physical things. You attain that once you come into the awareness in your mind and you start working your way into becoming. So owning that queen position before you sit on your throne, that's what we're supposed to do. Guys, this conversation is going to go a lot deeper when we come back, y'all. We'll be right back. My name is Dr. Ohiko Salajinaru. I'm a beauty professional, med spa operator, franchise owner, and director of education at HG Pro Global Beauty Institute and Body Med Spa. As a mother of three boys and immigrant business owner, it is important for me to have a steady and sustainable source of income that transcends economic, government, or public health uncertainties and instability like the global pandemic we are still recovering from. That is why HD Pro Global has created multiple systems that allows my team and I to train, educate, certify, and establish independent med spa operators like us all over the globe. For more information, check out our website to attend a free webinar to get started on your path to continuous success, no matter what is going on in your part of the world. I cannot wait to meet you. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. I'm so excited. I still got Adam and Anna in the studio with me, and we're talking about what women want men to know. So we talked about, in the first half of this show, we talked about purpose, we talked about women owning and embracing the season that they're in as being single. Now we're gonna transition a little bit to just understanding what the dynamics are today in the world with women just having, I feel like women have lowered the standards so much for the men. And now it seems like the men don't have to do much to gain our confidence or to actually see us as assets anymore what do you think well first and foremost um women i feel like are lowering their standards is because we're just accepting anything 
But when you work so hard and you put so much into yourself, you will figure out that I don't have to accept anything. And I'm going to get everything that, I, that my heart desires because you only have one life. And when you realize that you only have one life, then your whole dynamics change in your mind mm -hmm. and your, your paradigm shifts. And you realize, okay, I want the best for me and that's, that's what I'm going to get. So what do we say to those men who believe that, for those women who are refusing to lower their standards, and we call all types of names from high maintenance to bougie to whatever it is. I mean, what do we say to them? To the men uh, who feel that way, I feel like you have to know, like in the Bible, it says all men are created equal. And if you feel like your rib is bougie, then you gotta check yourself. <laughs> If you feel like you're, you're, Say you're it again, Anna. I love this chick right here. Look, y'all gonna Buddy, have to pay I'm me. Gonna say it. Yeah. Then you need to check say your the real. Rib. Say the real. You gotta check yourself because what you are attracting is what you are. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like she's lower than you, maybe you're lower than what you think you are. There you go. So if you're okay with getting the easy ones and the ones who are. Mm -hmm. You know, depending on you and I mean I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a woman depending on a woman or a man and vice versa, but it just has to come from a place of honor and respect where we're doing it, it sensibly. So it's it's true though. Men who feel like women who are top achievers and who are going and really raising the standards and requiring some level of work from you and you suddenly see that as oh no, I can't deal with that. I'm just gonna go down the street. That's okay. We're good. We good. You're just getting exactly what you're paying for, like exactly. they say, right? 100%. 100. So you know, for my sisters out there who seem to, you know, and for all of us now with situations or relationships, now we have different standards for it, right? Some people have been married before, and they're like, with their experience, they don't want it anymore. But I do know that there are amazing, phenomenal men out there, and there are super wonderful women out there who can help build strong family units. I honestly believe that in my heart. But it just takes a while to find those types of people. So now we have different situations where people want to be in partnerships. They want to co-mingle. They want to live together, but they don't want the marriage certificate that says we're married. What do you think about that? Well, first off, I think it's forgiveness of self. You have to forgive yourself. And you have to know that there are new possibilities. And if you close yourself off to a great possibility, then that means that you don't know exactly how miraculous things can work out for you. And when you put that in your mind that, oh, well, you know, nothing, nothing is going to work out. I feel like I just want to settle for this. Then that means that you're settling. And your decision and your mind will settle as well, mm -hmm. and the, the vibrations around you will, will settle. resonate. Yeah, and everything that you be, you'll be drawn to is just stagnant. Like you'll be stagnant, and people around you will be stagnant. Your relationships will be stagnant. So you have to be open to new possibilities. So we're gonna talk about sex and relationships mm -hmm. with women and men. You know, um, men have needs. And women are different from men. But sometimes men don't understand that the way our bodies are, we are wired differently. We're not, we're not like, like how do you put, you put a key in the car, you start it, and it's moving. You know, men are like that, it's like, okay, you ready, let's go. But women, we're very different. So when it comes to our sexuality and the way we process sex and relationships, I mean, what do you think there's been a lot of misgivings and misunderstanding from men's perspective towards us when it comes to sex? Well, I would, <laughs> I would definitely say that um, that is a very interesting topic. Just, yes. <laughs> because, yeah, let's just say this. Women are not sexual beings. We're not? We're not. We're not. We are women, we are women, so we are wombs. Okay. And so there's a cycle in our womb. Okay. Men, you know, they are our fertilizers. <laughs> they, I mean, they just give us a seed and then we carry it. So, so you think men are more sexual than women? 
Definitely. You think so? Yeah. Because we have so much, so much emotion built inside of us. Okay. That's why that soul tie is something that we carry because we're wounded. We are, we are holding, we, we can find all these things inside of us. And we can't be sexual all the time because sometimes the logic kicks in that, okay, I have a time clock here. Okay? I can't just be around here just sleeping around. Okay, now I'm carrying a child now. So now my child it has to, you know, see me as women who are whole. Um, they will realize that I can't just be sleeping around with, with all these men. Well, some women are doing it, Anna. So how does that, how, how do we deal with that? How do we manage that? Because it's an insecurity issue. Okay. When you are a woman who has value, and that's where men have to come into their own agenda and their perspective on women by understanding us, okay. by separating these kind of women. This so so when women. men say, so when men tell, so when men talk about the fact that, um, let me see, what was I trying to say? So when we talk about, when it comes to sex and men and women and relationships, like women, we take sex seriously. For the most part, we do. some women don't, and there's a good number of them out there. Like, we're not talking to those ones, and we're not referring, we're not representing that demographic, right? right? Women take sex seriously. So when a man comes along, and he gets with a woman, and he sleeps with her, and he's wondering why she seems to be catching all these feelings, and she's getting attached, and dude, what do you think? That's the way we're wired, right? Exactly. So if you know you're not going to go the distance, at least try to identify the species of female you are exactly. getting with. Some women don't care, they hit it, they quit it, they move on, and they're good with it. But most women will get attached to you. So don't start wondering why she calling me all the time, we only slept together once, and we, women, we take sex very seriously. Way more than men, right? So I feel like a lot of men need to understand it and stop getting into his head and wondering why when sex get in the mix and we're like, all emotion and all over the place. All right, cool. So, pretty women. We are beautiful women. Look, I am beautiful. My sister is beautiful. All the queens are all we, we're beautiful. We invest a lot of time and energy to keep it together. Like this really does this. It just look. Do you think it just happens like that? Like we roll out of bed. This is how we woke up. No, we put a lot of work into taking care of ourselves. We look beautiful. But why does it seem like? Beautiful women are getting the short end of the stick. Why do we, why are we getting the short end of the stick? Because like men will say, they see you, you're pretty, you're well dressed, you drive a nice car, you got your business, so you got your nice job or whatever, you got, you have all your stuff together, you're taking care of business. All of a sudden it's like, I can't talk to her. Like, oh my God, no go. Or maybe they talk to you one time, and once they find out certain things about you, they ghost you, Casper, they disappear. And you're like, why? I mean, why does it seem like we intimidate? I don't want to use that word because it seems like you're making yourself feel like you're better than anyone else. But why does it seem like pretty girls who are accomplished are getting the short end of the stick? And you see women who are, I, I'm not saying, but you know, certain categories of women seem to just be landing the husbands and the boyfriends and, and all of that. <laughs> um, I would say, that the reason why I feel like we're getting the short end of the stick is because we're focusing, we could be possibly focusing on the wrong thing. We the women? Women. Oh, please. When we, and we, if we notice that, if we notice that we're getting the short end of the stick, it's on the wrong thing. Oh. Us. Us. We are the prize. Yeah. And when you <laughs> feel like, I'm getting the short end of the stick. No, I don't get the short end of the stick because I deserve the best. Uh -huh. I'm going to have the best. Whoever is going to notice that, uh -huh. that, he knows what the best is. Okay. So I don't say I get the short end of the stick. I'm like, maybe I'm shorthanding myself. So I keep continuously build, 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 build. So every beautiful woman who knows her value will build and continuously build on herself. And then all of a sudden, when you don't just seek it, it's just going to find you. It's going to find you. So I guess. Anna's just saying that we just gotta wait a little longer 
to eat some some good food, right? Because you know that's 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 all that is. We just gonna have to wait a little longer to eat some good food. So I mean, I had to throw that out there because that's a conversation that I have had with people and I've had it said, and I'm like, is it really true? Just because you're pretty, and it's it might be true, but because. But the reality of the matter is to encourage the beautiful sisters out there who are making it happen for themselves. The reality of the matter is once you start to elevate Amen. beyond a certain level, once you start to build yourself up and expand your horizons and increase your capacity for greatness, the, the, the truth of the matter is the type of men that are, gonna wanna, that are going to qualify to come into the space, it diminishes drastically. The numbers go down. So be encouraged, sisters. You're top tier. So guess what? It's going to take a while to find that top tier guy, but he's going to come. He's going to find you. If that's your thing, though. If that's not your thing, that's fine. If that's for you, that's okay. If that's not for you, that's okay, too. Oh, my goodness, Anna. This is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So from your heart, as a female, what is one message if you have always wanted to speak to the male population, what is one message that you want to pass across to them? That really you feel like, I really wish I could tell men this thing. Well, that is a great question. Um, I feel like behind every great man is a great woman. Behind? Yeah, behind, standing behind, or standing beside him, uh, above him, below, wherever. <laughs> she, she, look. With him is a great woman because even the president of the United States cannot be a president of the United States if he does not have a wife. Mm -hmm. Even the king cannot be the king if he cannot Keep a have a queen. So I mean to say this, if you think that you are so high where you can't find a woman that deserves you, because not, not that a woman is deserving you, we deserve a great man. Yes. And you have to find yourself that she is also equal to me mm. because I am who she's created from. Mm. So if you don't respect yourself, then you will never respect a woman. If you don't find yourself beautiful, then you will never find a woman beautiful. Amen. And we're all created equal. And also, seek God and not lead on your own understanding because men typically have crowns that they carry yes, and they feel like they're kings, but you have to know who is the king of your life. And when you find the king, who the king is of your life, then then you'll find yourself even more a king. And then yeah. you'll know the purpose of your life and you know the purpose of a beautiful woman standing beside you. Yes, ma'am. Woo, I love it, church. Now I'm gonna yeah, pass yeah. the bucket. Although I'm gonna take the money from Adam because I'm gonna <laughs> give him my money, you know what I'm saying? Just get my bag. But my thing is this. Thank you so much, Anna. That was so, so wonderful. So for me, my personal message to men is this. I really want men to understand that leadership is a role that is earned over time and your ability to prove yourself a true leader. If you give a woman the confidence in letting her know that you have the ability to lead her. That means a leader provides a plan and he, he models how that plan is being executed. He actually shows the way, he teaches, he serves, he loves, he, I mean so many things. We're not trying to preach to y'all, but this is my message to men. If you are able to really stand in that role of being a leader, because I believe that men are supposed to from the front, by the way. You don't lead from behind, you lead from the front. You know, like shepherds, they lead from behind where they're like pu pushing the, the herd, like move, soup, move, you know? No. A man is supposed to stand in the role of a leader, a king, take dominion. And if you're able to prove to women that you can do those things, I promise you, you know that thing y'all talk about? You're supposed to submit to me. Amen. The Bible says you submit. Look, you will never have a reason one day in your life to state that fact. That would be something that just comes as a result of your ability to lead from a place of truth, love, 
understanding. As a teacher, you guide, you model the example, you show her with confidence that you got this. And then she will easily, no matter how, and I tell you, no matter how great, successful, financially able that person is, that female is, she will hand it all over to you on a big platter of gold. Amen. Just because you have proven to her that you are that person. So until you are able to sit on the throne of your life and reign as a king, by doing all of, because just because you, you wear a crown, like they say, there's a lot of clowns running around with crowns. Like these days we got a lot of, I'm sorry, man. I love y'all, you know I love my man. But the reality of it is, it's not just by having the genitals to say. Yeah. It is by living a life of service to the people that are around you. And that's when we have all of these women who you think that, oh, they're so proud, they're alpha female, they don't listen. No, we are so easy to deal with. Once you assume your role, and I think at the end of the day, it's just a matter of understanding that women assume your role, men assume your role. Let's all play our part, and I feel like we will have better, stronger families, we'll have a better society, we'll raise better children, and so many things will work out better. What I do you think? You yeah. Assume your role, know your role. Yes. And if you don't know your role, then just know your purpose, and then you'll know your there you go. Know your purpose and know your role. And if you don't know what your purpose is, go on Amazon and buy King of My Gifts and discover your journey into a purpose with the workbook that comes along with it. That's by me, by the way. That's a shameless plug. But y'all go buy the book and you'll find out why. All right, Anna. It's been a wonderful, amazing time with you. Pleasure. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, this is Dr. OJ Speaks. And today, we have managed to tell you guys what women wish men knew. Bye. Bye.